What's up YouTube, how you all going? Um, I'm just going to do a quick video for you today. I'm going to do a figure review, but firstly I uh, picked up a couple of new figures on the weekend. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I might as well show you. Um, picked up Clone Trooper Dra Dra. Yeah, that's like so. Um, This wave of figures starting to spread out around here. Um, we're not getting a lot in the way of vintage at the moment. It's starting to pop up around the place, but not very often. And when they do find them, they are pretty much gone. So I picked up, sort of, I picked up a couple of clone troop, clone wars figures. So that one, and the one I will be reviewing for you today, is one I've been waiting for for a long time. Uh, Shuck T. Really cool figure. So there she is. Really nice looking figure. Really nice detail. Um, obviously comes with her lightsaber. Nothing real special about that. It's pretty stock standard sort of grey colour. That's alright. Um, does have a removable robe. Which looks, I think it looks better with the robe on because of her extremely skinny arms. But nonetheless, it looks pretty good without them. Really nice detail and stuff on the fabric of the uh, skirt or dress. Nice frayed little rips down the bottom. There's a nice layering with the, uh, the soft plastic thing that goes over the skirt there. And the drapes that come down around the neck, which looks like it's removal if you take the head, take her head off, and then of course uh, head tails or leku. I think I'm not sure if they're called leku on togrutas, but really nice detail to her face sculpt as well and paint. Looks really cool. Hopefully you're getting a decent look at that. Let's try and hold it still for you for a second. Nice little gold um, charms and stuff down her forehead. Um, now, as I was saying, with the uh, rubbery layers over the top, there, there's really nice detail put into them. It looks really good. Um, articulation wise, it's probably not the strongest figure articulation wise, but she does. Have a ball jointed head, um, ball in shoulders and elbows, swivel wrists, uh, swivel waist, um, swivel hips, uh, ball hinge knees. But unfortunately, it's another Jedi that has come out with no ankle articulation. But um, I guess you're not really going to see that with the dress covering it, but also means posability also lacks a little, but I can live with that. Interesting little hand sculpt they've got here with this hand. It's got the uh, sort of Jedi sort of thing. But nice paintwork, nice colours on this. It's a nice, bright, standout figure. Um, yeah, another really cool Jedi to have. And it looks really well, good with all the other Jedi in the Clone Wars line. I'll just put a robe back on and show you with that on. I honestly prefer it with the robe on because it just adds another sort of lev level of depth and to the layering, whatnot in her clothes. Well, I guess you could say she's got about three or four layers of things there, it just adds to a lot of depth. And with the nice dark cloak in the back, um, cloak or I suppose in the background, it really highlights the brighter colours on her, on the rest of her body and it's really nice detailed head sculpt. It's nice soft plastic so it doesn't sort of restrict movement so much as others have in the past. 
we can still get a bit of nice movement around of that of that head. So, um, yeah, they've just done a really fantastic job on this one, and I don't really have any complaints with it except for the uh, ankles, which aren't articulated. But as you can see, but. There's nothing really special about the legs either. The boots are, I don't know if you can see that, but they're sort of laced up, but there's no real paintwork or detail added onto them. So, but for displaying purposes, this you can't go wrong with this figure. It's really nice. So I hope you've had a good look at that, guys, and uh, back with another fig, uh, figure review very soon. Till then, may the force be with you, guys.